no, you just need to help me map got them in my shop. Okay, nothing you want me to rip out the whole of this ship. No, nothing I want us to take and we want to keep as much. We might need to come back here, so keeping a full working refinery is probably a good idea. Yeah, okay, okay, good idea. This can be our little outpost if we were to come back to the alien planet. But we never do. Uh, alien planet's been good to us. There's a lot of deaths. Has it, has it really? A lot of ships have blown up here. Not been very good to us, Scott. A lot of ships have blown up. Not been good to us at all. In a murderous, ravenous place where only the weak will survive. No, the strong will survive. <laughs> only the weak will survive here. Fuck the strong. Imagine what sort of place would that be where only the weak survive and the strong die? <laughs> well, that's like the, the invert in the, well, the invert universe. I think that's a place where their definitions are different. Hmm. Alright, and just help me build this then. Okay, okay. Just, get, just make sure you get, need the parts just to get queued up. Just queue, you see what it needs in this queue parts up to get it okay, done. Okay, we'll do. I just chuck some uranium in the reactor and then I will take off. I just queued some extra bits. I just want one ship to take off. One ship. I'm not asking much. One ship to get into orbit without imploding. My ship's in orbit. Yeah. One of my ships. Oh well, you should have just said that. And you did it a cheesy doodle way. I did not. We came from you... space, therefore I had the materials to move came back into from space. out of space. Okay, just come up to eighty percent full charge. Came from out of space. Destroy uh, the okay. human race. <gasps> I have nickel, guys and gals. I have nickel, therefore my machines are functioning. Will not be long now. What are the nanites doing? Maybe we just can't see them. Sometimes they do that thing, don't they? Pretty sure okay, that's what they're doing. Okay, Adam, queue up 1500 steel plates. Sure, we got loads of steel plates. Okay, well. Missing components. Switch oh, I'm gonna switch it off again. The nanite machine doesn't seem to be able to get them. But try and drag them into the nanite machine. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure, but your piping is right. Oh, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm coming back to the planet. Yeah, the nanite's taking supplies. Did one of those stones just jump into the air for you guys? No. Uh, on my screen, one of the large chunks of thing have just magic. Whoosh. I've transferred some steel plates in there manually. So it was actually able to drag and drop in, and look, they just fly away to go do their business. So I think something's shooting at. I think it's because there's shit in the nanite machine. It can't. Nanite. Yeah, it's that coil thing. I think that's a bit. It's confusing it a bit. I have a hydrogen tank when you get a chance as well. That'll grab a bucket tank. You need two thousand reactor components. Where the hell are you gonna get that from? Should have that. Should be able to produce that. Do we have the stuff to produce that? Yeah. Silver, gravel, iron. Yeah, plenty of that. Mm. All right. You say so. Should we blast off then? Yeah, you've not got enough hydrogen. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, don't forget your ship is like completely hydrogen powered. So if you do get into space and find yourself low on it, you're toast. Except for your reactor, which should be hydrogen powered, but isn't. <laughs> How'd you like being in my hangar, Scott? Let me out. I'm trying to work on my ship. Ah! I have to say, you saying that, Aaron, sounded very creepy. 
Just I'm lurking in my hangar, Scott. How, <laughs> how'd you like my hangar? You will see the door only locks from the outside. Well, it's inside, actually. That, I don't know if that's a good thing. You cannot leave now. Not until you do as I say. Dance. Dance. Take off all your Dance. suits. See that tub of KY jelly over there? Guess what that's getting used for. You. And the loot done correctly. Not all. But ha -ha, ha -ha. Come on. Run the gauntlet. Run the gauntlet. It's gaunt. Oh, it's my way. I don't know which one he's rating that that cast. It's not my fault if his if his ship blows up. Uh... Should we paint it? What? Paint what? Steve the Steve Venture. If you want, it's your ship. Uh... Stage. Yes. You're broadcasting background noise. It's me. Sorry, I'm I'm painting the I'm painting the venture. I have to hold the button down to paint the. Paint. I'm sorry, That's Stage. That's not an excuse. I'm sorry, Sage. I should not blame you. Uh, just because you were uh, you, you were talking. He is about the one you, that usually does it though. So you blamed the, the man for the minute. That is me. <laughs> I should have all tabbed out and looked at team speak. All right. Well, I've got a bit more painting to do yet, so you just have to deal with it. If it's our, that's the, the inferior program. I'll talk though as I'm doing it. So you then could, it... you know, just have it on a different key. I don't have that many keys on my keyboard, I'm afraid. Really? Like... Tab. I have about two keys. Okay. So I'm just going to talk about sandwiches, why I um, hold this button down. So I prefer a, a sandwich that's, you know, like a grilled sandwich, like a, a steak butter sandwich. That's where's that? Peanut butter and jelly. A steak sandwich all the way. Mm. Can't make it at home in two seconds, though. You're American, you're peanut butter and jelly. Is you're English with your is jelly fake jelly biscuits. Is jelly jelly or is jelly not jelly? Is jelly jam? Jelly's jam. So so what? Do you have jelly in America? Or is then what the fuck is jelly? You have Jello. Peanut butter and jelly. If you're going to have, that's jam basically. But we it, jelly to us is jam. That's not yes. But yours is Jello is your jelly. You're just that, repeating the same words. That makes sense. Hello. No. You know what Jello is? Yeah, it comes in little things. You open it, you eat it, you throw away the plastic container. Yeah, or you mix it and you make a big vat of Jello. Yeah, homemade Jello. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that, but that's but jelly is that. That's what we call it. Oh, that's what you call jelly? J j no, we call jelly. It's jello is jelly. Okay, so you call Jello jelly. Yes. Even though it has a branded name right there on it that says Jello. Jello is oh, a brand. No, no. We don't. You, we, yes, but Jello Jell is jelly. We don't have Jello over here. Yes, we have but, jelly. Yes, yes, but what? no, je no jelly to them is jam. Do you have jam in America? Yeah, I think technically jelly is jam. Even there here. You go. Don't walk into your corner shop and ask for some jam, would you? Or would you? I don't even, I don't even know what you said. Have you ever went into the car, your corner shop and said, "Can I have some jam, please?" No, because you don't ask for things; you go get it. Oh no, but I mean, like, I like, okay, you tell your mum, you go, "I'm gonna go and get some jam." Did you say that? Or no, I'd say, say I'm gonna go get some jelly. There you go. There we go. Make my ship, you fucking nanny piece of shit. Not with that attitude. Aaron, can you just help me weld this up quickly by manual? Yeah, sure, fast, sure. Uh, I just need computers for this. The game's been derp, and we're waiting for your ship to fill up.
I don't know if it's your piping or... No, it's not. It's just, it's just what, do you, what do you want me to fix? The reactor and the jump drive. Tell me what components you need. Uh, computers, large steel tubes, uh, displays... Okay, I'm just feeding it in. For some reason, we're I'm manually having to feed it in. It uh, no what sense. else do you need? Uh, two thousand reactor components, a hundred super superconductors. How many computers do you need? About a hundred. Okay. Gravity component. The first gravity component. Ah, I can never find what I'm looking for in this game. Well, I'll put some displays in there as well because I think your little desktop on the top needs them. I need gravity components and I cannot see them in the, the build thing. I never can find gravity components in this build thing. I do not know why I always cannot see them. Shit. Shit. What? What I, don't have it I don't have the thing to make a uh, jump drive. Oh yeah, obviously. That's why you're supposed to connect up with the air once you're in orbit. Alright, we're going to have to do that. Aaron. We're just going to have to connect up in orbit. Have we got enough hydrogen to launch yet? Uh, you'd have to look at your ship. Have a look then. And can you just come and cut this... Uh... No, mate. No, it's just alright. I will sort it myself. Yeah, no problem. My tanks are probably nearly full. Yours will be like three. Co I think mine will be coming up to nearly 100%. Mine's at 91%. What's yours sitting at? Oh, shit. Hold on. I'm gonna go back up to the machine. Uh, 70. Seventy percent, but that should keep us out there for a while. It's up to you if you want to go prematurely. No, oh, no, may as well wait. It'll be worth it. In the space, we can basically just start enter cruise mode and turn off the the. Um... Okay, can you just help me get my reactor done? And that's me. I can do. Which is fuck it is. The superconductors that are bouncing around inside the ship I can't get for you, that's the only bit I can't do. I'll, I'll put some reactor components in. The components should be going over to you shortly. Try and chase down the superconductors. Can you just put a merger block on the outside of your ship somewhere? On a little pylon sticking out a teeny bit. Oh, hold on. Do I need to build a merger block in interior plate or steel? Ugh. I can't remember. Steel. More superconductors to die, to die. Superconductors to die, to die, to die, to die. Just have to like time my clicks to get them. For some reason, Aaron's assembling situations a bit weird. Okay, so that's them. I just need reactor components and I am done. And I need to lob some uranium in it because that would be embarrassing. Three, two, one. Vroom. Fuck! I'm clear painting it. 
If, if uh, aerodynamics applied to your ship, it'd be it'd just have so much friction. <laughs> it would probably implode and take off, yeah, I know. Imagine the guy right. on the front of your face would probably be ripped off. Imagine if you were sitting there and that was actually a, the full power. You just Your face would just rip off and your clothes would rip off. I would be jelly. Yeah, you'd be Thank stuck God. to the top of it and then eventually you'd just run out of power. And you'd, Would you unstick or would you be, you'd probably be dead? Mm, I don't think it matters. You would be paced. Weasel in. You know what I'm gonna do? I think, I think this is an. Imp say, a, say a load of explosives up inside it. No, right underneath it, vacant. No, because we're gonna come back and there'll be space hippies living in it. I'm to right. I'm gonna write on the hippie inside now. Okay, as if this. No, no, there'll be squatters. This is the ship was built by an English, a part Englishman, so there's probably gonna be blaze squatters in it. Do they shoot squatters? Do they shoot squatters in America? No, I'm not sure. We, I don't know. Actually, some people might. I turn it to red as well, just to show that we're not home. It's called the vacant weasel in now because we're leaving it behind shortly. It was a great ship. Let's have a look back at our memories of the weasel. Great ship cluster. The weasel once started out as Sage's original creation. Sage, would you like to talk about that briefly? Hepatitis. Oh god, Hephaestus it was named. It was originally the red ship that me and Aaron started on eons ago that I slowly expanded into Hephaestus, a refinery ship so we could refine all needed materials mm -hmm. and assemble them. But as time went on, we ended up building multiple ships and merging them together instead of just letting them live on their own. This eventually led us to a planet where we crashed the ship on in a very foolish, we might have copy-pasted it way. Oh, another little thing and that might be that. not too explained is why does it look so off-center? That's because Scott decided to build one side of the hangar and let me build the other side of the hangar. So that's we ended up with a very wonky hangar, but all good memories be left behind. Maybe one day you'll find this somewhere in the Steam Workshop. I, I do love how it was legit the roundest meets the squarest and then they had an ugly bastard chain. Yeah they did. It was a it was a horrible fight and the the uh, first at the top looks still looks like a beautiful ship to be honest. The bridge looks still good. Hmm. Oh, no Aaron, we're not attaching it. Because that's what Aaron does. He just attaches ships to ships and Ship, ship orgies. Right, tanks should be near completion by now. I do hope. Well, again, I'm having slight problems getting my reactor built, but I'm getting there. I went out the wrong door, didn't I? Yep, at the back of your ship. There you go. Oh, oh. There goes Aaron. The reactor components are like popping into the nanite machine for like a fraction of a second, then popping out. Don't know what to say. No, I won't. I think we should say, take off. No, wait till you get. F Aaron, you have all our resources. You are waiting till your ship is 100% hydrogen, so we've got at least a little bit of chance of not losing every single fucking and then thing that we did. We decide we're launching built. Scott's ship first. I can't remember that. Uh, I think I was going to launch a couple of seconds after it has. So, Sage, if you don't mind cutting the abelicals, like... Yeah, yeah, I'll be on the ground to cut the stuff. Just make sure the station down there still has some power, so I can still use the gate to get out of there. Okay, I'd be embarrassing. Uh, Aaron, can you transfer a little bit of uranium back to the main base? Tin should be enough. Why is the nano machine pulling random shit?
It is literally mocking me right now. It shouldn't take this long to build a reactor. It built an Aaron's fine. It's just like going to mine. Going, ah, no. Oh, saw that. Aaron, you're not doing anything with this, are you? What you say? The nano machine, you're not doing anything with it? Doing with what? Anything. Motherfucker, man. Oh, I'm, I'm currently using it to build a cockpit. Alright, what are you doing? I was just going to switch it off so that the... I'll switch it off and switch it back on again. <laughs> so the reactor can stop doing the fucking hokey pokey. So you can't take off until it's into your ship. How far is your ship? Well, I would ship? like a reactor so I can take off. It would be a, a nice feature. You'll need a small uh, one since it's a hydrogen. Oh fuck me! And just had a stroke. This is about to lose a fucking reactor. How many jump drives do you go in this ship, Anne? Two. Two. Two big, powerful jump drives. So powerful. They were powerful. I've seen some reactor components. Are you sure we, know, just, we just don't have enough reactor components? No, we're still producing them. They're like coming out like a squidging at a time. And they're not getting nanite machined into my thing. They're just like fucking around. I don't know what you've done to your, your... Oh, I think I know what's wrong. I think I... See, you had like a, a, a one-way system set up in your base, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Definitely. I think that's what's causing the problem. Well, you guys messed something up. Probably. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have messed it up then. See, I like that point. Let's go to Frame Lodge. Woo! It's a great day for Did man. you say you're launching now? Yes. No. See, I'll wait for it to be daytime so you're not launching at night. Oh, is the sun coming up? I don't mind then. Sealing the bay. Sealing the bay. I didn't. I'll just grind my way out here. I'm not <laughs> done. Oh, oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. I'll be up. <laughs> Either help me build my ship or I will self destruct your ship. Your ship's in space. I'm really confused about what this waste of material is. This is me getting what I wanted, why I spent all that time building Schlong 1 to get a fucking rocket ship into space. And I got denied at the last moment. You need some routes components, don't you? That's your problem. Cock blocking fucking Say, glitch. Can you just do a final check that all supplies are aboard? I believe I've uh, put everything except the few last things in assembler. Aaron, did you put some react uh, re yeah, uranium back into Negative. the weasel? Oh, Push me shit, so. All right. Well, since everything is being abandoned here, I'm going to disable the sorting systems. How off? Fucking Luya. Okay, dump that there. Chuck you Is it in to here. Work? Got power to my ship. I just need to get some auction bolts for me. Did you put the, uh, did you add in? It helps if you tell me what I... 
Well, I was saying, I think, uh, did you make the connector for me to connect up to when we're in yes, space? Yes, 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 yes. And it's not some redonkulous place that I will never be able to connect up to? No, it's I extended it one block out so you could do it. Well, main storage still has a ton of stuff in it. You guys didn't even check that. You sure? Are you sure, it's not, are you sure it's not main storage of this now? Cargo underscore main storage? Mm, I didn't look there. I looked in car. Everything should be in cargo pod. Yeah, cargo pod one, two, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. The word pod will be in them. Yeah. Thousands of supplies left behind. Seventy-two thousand iron ingots. And you may want to get them. I got them, I'm getting them, I'm transferring them all into the pods. Uh, maybe it's just uh, scr scroll through it too fast. Basically, I sorted it by pod on the left, and then I'm just going through and manually grabbing things that look useful on the right through the whole thing. There's a bunch of stuff in connectors. Hydrogen's 97%. Mm, 99% for me. Alrighty. Good man, lights. Ninety nine. Should I press W when I need to take off? Yes. Okay, just making sure. For well, some reason I thought it was Q, but I remember that was the armor key. Space is roll. Space Q is, is roll. roll. I mean, okay. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Depends I on nearly... which way your cockpit's facing to. So. I nearly done goofed. Oh, yeah, look where my, which the direction my cockpit's facing. Mm -hmm. Let me get us down. Yeah. What would I have hit, happened if I hit for, if I was holding W? You would have gone forward out into nothingness. You need to hold space, Scott. Or you can just do that. That works. So, Aaron, you ready for your ship to explode in a fireball? I am. After all this effort, all this work, I'm ready for just a fucking massive explosion. To be honest, like most things in space engineers, but we'll have to see. Still that quickly. The only problem I fear is not being able to stop. <gasps> oh. I need to make a quick adjustment to my ship. What is this whole place called right now? Steve Venture. Like, actually named in the information tab. Yeah, home. Well, be... It's just called Home, okay. You didn't even we... grind down the ship, Scott. You might as well let me take it through the portal. Because Adam was bitching that I was, oh, you're taking up too much time. The mechanics are doing this instead of helping me. So I just that, went, that fuck was good. it. That was a good impression. I just went, fuck it, and switched off the assemblers and just let 
Nature take its course. But I might need some of the resources I've got right now to build something quickly. Because the nanite machines are seem to be derping the fuck out, so I can't. Are you leaving them. your Hornet ship here, Scott? Uh, it's basically gutted itself. All right. I was going to try and get once I have a stable gate platform in space. I was going to come back and get it. Please don't disassemble it and take it away yet. Alright, I won't take all off anything else then. Seriously, I don't know what's wrong with the nanites and why they aren't helping me anymore. Scott, they're probably busy with other things. They're just flying back and f Oh. Uh, I see what some are doing. Yeah, what are they doing? Picking up power cells from over here. And how's your hydrogen supply doing? Should be full. Just waiting on you. Waiting on the Scott. Wait, Wait come on, Scott. Can help me quickly fix this then. Is it already fixed? No, I realised I hadn't reverse thruster, so I quickly had to add them on. I thought this was just going to be disposable. I still yeah. want to be able to stop it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's re it's it's recyclable, not disposable. Yeah. So just help me add these quickly rear thrusters. I don't know why your nano machines are not helping me. Make sure your own, there it's actually owned, Aaron, and set the share with faction. Everything. No, well, yeah. At least the nanite machine, but probably helpful to get everything because I know Scott's antenna that he placed in isn't owned by anybody. Well, there you go. Should be. So now. There we go. That's one thing built. Also, the nanite factory is turned off. Can okay, turn it back on, please? Oh, look, they're here to help. And it's actually helping? Yep. Groovy. Should have the ship ready to rock and roll in a couple of seconds. Oh, bar. Okay. She is uh, ready to rock and roll, I think. Alright, yeah. everyone ready? Two oh. seconds. I need to go there, just dump my inventory and grab all my auction bottles so I can survive. Uh, also, I need to jump through the Stargate. Actually, you'll be able to jump through the Stargate to my base, won't you? Yeah, I can just go get me the GPS coordinates afterwards, so we can meet up. All right. Will I be able to get out into the atmosphere without how, how many oxygen tanks will I need? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. know. I don't know how fast oxygen is going to burn for you. Record. Oh boy. Okay. You launch it first, then Scott. Yeah, two seconds fixing something. <sighs> Nearly done. Just change of quick design. Thought I'd better put a standard cockpit on it for realism. Sure. 
All right, I'm gonna make a blueprint of everything. Just in case the universe decides it really doesn't like you guys. It's already done that once to me. All right, it's saved. Um, anything else? Anyone want to bring anything else with us? I think you've took everyone out of the ship. You've put a lot of uranium back into the ship, haven't you? Right. Although someone did, right? I'm closing up the hangar doors. Oh no, I am gonna, I'm gonna go second. I want to see, uh, I want to see Alan take off. The crucial part of this takeoff is going to. <laughs> the up bit. So the, yeah, the crucial part is the up bit. So, someone want to tell me when they cut me free, and then I'll hit the gas. Okay. No, well, just make I. Sure your inertia no, no, dampeners no. are on, and it should just hover you. Just, just for. Inertia dampeners oh. are on. Aaron, see for me, I just held W uh, all the time. Okay. Uh, Sage cut it away, that's why I shot off like a bat out of hell. So do you want me to just hold W then? If that's where your cockpit is aimed, so you're going up, yes. yes Are okay. you facing towards you facing towards the sky? Okay. Yes, okay. Launch yeah. me when I'm ready. Alright, I'll give you a countdown and I'll cut you free. Give me one okay. Second. Give me a proper like Apollo countdown. Without the Roger yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, no, no, Sage, there's two things holding the ship on, remember? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, you, how you say everyone? Grinder or explosive? Yeah, grinder. Just give me a second. Yeah. Alright, give me that Apollo tape. Just do a quick circle. Oh, oh, my game's frozen. Give me one second. Don't explode! Don't explode! Don't explode! <laughs> and, I mean, it is full of hydrogen, so there could be a minor explosion. Um, this is Aaron to ground control. Ground control, this come in. This is ground control. What do you want? Um... Uh, can I have a T minus ten seconds to blast off? Oh, is there other things going on over it? One second. I can protect ground control. This is ground control. We have started our recording, just in case something happens. I can protect ground control. The shit hits the fan. Is uh, pilot Aaron ready for liftoff? Um, be advised, pilot Aaron is just popping out of spectator camera and now into takeoff camera. Um, ground control, cut, cut away and count me around. Okay, starting countdown till severing main beam. Secondary beam has been severed. Heading to main beam. Adam, please hold W. Inertial damper should keep him there even if he doesn't. Copy. Don't trust him. Beginning Control. countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, hey, this 4. Is tense. Three, two, one. You're free. Oh, we're taking off! Oh my god! Oh, we're going at some speed as well. Oh, Hello. Uh, this is Aaron to ground control. Uh, successful launch. Everything in systems are good. How long to my launch before the explosion happened? Uh, um, I don't know. It was a while before yours went kaput, so. Okay, Sage, you want to uh, cut me free? I'm going to jump in. Uh, are you sure you want to launch while he's on his way up? or uh, If you um, want to go, we'll cut you free. Leroy, I'm holding W. Alrighty. Getting ready. Are you ready? Get me a countdown of three. Oh, damn it. I wanted to watch this, but never mind. Three. Two. One. Lift off. I don't know what's happened. My game's frozen. Well, you're going up. Let's put it that way. Oh no, my game has a front. I, can, I just see the mountains moving beside me. Bye, planet! Well, I, I, I can't I'm... tell if I'm going up straight or not. This is ground control. Everything is very dark. Uh, be advised, ground control. Can you tell if I'm going straight or not over? Uh, check your spinny thing at the left for gravity. If you can see the gravity arrow, you're not going up. Okay, uh, be advised, we are going up. It's all good, over. Good, over. Altitude's going up. I have just put my HUD back on. Hitting V for spin. Oh my god, I'm thinking half the base of me. That, that is correct. You didn't specify a disconnect point. Thank you, Sage. Just thank you. You are welcome. All right, we're approaching um, 0 0.75. That means the area where Scott disconnected his face last time. <laughs> Roger that. 
Point seven five G's. You are at point six six gravities. I right, copy that. I'm at point. I'm at. How have I got one gra? How was I point? I was over one gravity at one point there. Uh, you were in a gravitational field, over. I don't give a fuck. I got no idea you're fucked. Or could I have 10 for any sandwich? Uh, your sandwich is here on the desk. You seem to have left it. God damn it. Oh shit, something just fell off. Scott's been fucked. No, no, I'm still intact. Uh, Scott's I been I fucked got... over. I put my. Um, yes! What the yes! Fuck? The experiment was successful. The uh, parachute ripped off. Can I confirm? Scott has lost the parachute arm. His ship is intact, but the extra bit of station uh, is sorry, gone as well. Can you, can you just repeat over again? You say Scott's ripped off? Scott's ripped off his arm. He has indeed lost one of his ship's arms. He's also drifting to the side now. It is just a flesh wound. I'll copy that ground control. Sage, uh, when you have a free second, can you please head towards the base of uh, my my little base and get me a GPS? My little base. We'll do in a minute. I am at point four nine gravities. Please note, I've realized there is an issue. Uh, issue. Please there over. is an issue with Aaron's ship. I repeat, there is an issue with Aaron's ship. Uh, can you repeat the issue? I'm uh, you don't seem to appear to have any antennae. Right, GG Adam! It's a big Gigi. 10 more on the note, can I? Um, Stu Pellock! It's a Bravo 6 7. Um, this is going to make docking the two ships more difficult. Uh, copy that. Uh, well, I'll work something out. Once you get into zero G, build a fucking antenna, you Pellock. Um, this, this sailor likes to sail with no antenna. Copy that. Uh, I... you're an idiot. I am going to find you with my blue ship and use it as a missile. There's a possibility of an ice storm as you're going up. Be cautious. No ice storms. Ice storm on me over? Uh, correct. I think it might be drawn to you due to your lack of antennae. <laughs> Go with that. Preparing to maneuver around ice storm. Vengeance. <laughs> oh shit, I'm following him up. Obvious, honestly, Scott, you should follow him, or else you're going to get lost. I don't know what, how much I've drifted by when that thing got ripped off. A bit, but you're still pretty good. I've got no ice on the radar, but I have no radar because I forgot to install one. Doofa 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 doofa. I am at zero point two one G's. Uh, Alan. Um, I am at 014, descending. Uh, ascending, sorry. If you're descending, it would be a bit fucked. See you, you like Can you repeat? Blues. Did you say you're going down? Uh, negative, I'm going up. Good, okay. Just wanted to confirm, we thought we heard something terrible. Uh, this ice storm that ground control has repeated, it seems to be false. <laughs> well, that's a relief. That would have been bad if it wasn't. Oh shit! What's happening? It's ice, there is ice! Just evade it, I've evaded the ice. Oh, you're almost out of the gravitational field. Once you're out, you should be safe. What's, what's ice doing out of this altitude? I don't know. Good luck. Okay, I'm, point one I'm four. avoiding the uh, ice now. Sage, how far am I? It's like one of the mini uh, games from Nintendo 64. Oh no, this is getting pretty intense. Sage, how far am I from Twat 1? From, what did you say, plat one? Twat. Look out for that ice trunk! Oh! Found stuff Sage. because of my smooth skin design. Sage, please don't, he has all our resources. I like this ice storm, it's alright. I've built the ship to handle it. But from not off an antenna. Not with an antenna, that was like a Nintendo 64 game, that. This is, um, ground control. We've lost you both. Copy that. Turning to planet now to pick you up. Don't do oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> For God's sake, don't do that. The ice. Adam, are you nearly at zero G? I am at zero point seven. I do. Why does it uh, feel? Can't confirm. I have found one Stop. aircraft again. Stop. Why does it feel way more official when you put an American accent on? Uh, I don't know. 
Probably because we actually had the big space program that everyone looked at for quite some time. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Maybe. Probably also feel official if you could do, speak in Russian. Don't they just make lots of beeping noises? Beep! I went to NASA. Yeah, that's what, Which cool. NASA did you go to? Uh, Florida, one in Florida. Oh, not the National Anal Sex Association one. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm uh, trying to... more ice. Uh, yeah, can we add some fiery asteroids into that one as well? Can, can Scott have a, an ice doll? Oh! No, I put an Negative. antenna on my ship. The ice only comes at dolts. No, we've had an impact. Point okay, that's what the lights. Change your course ever so slightly. Okay, we're out of the uh, we're out of the gravity field. I right, do have mate breaking maneuver then. I'm I'm doing a what do they call it? A cluster burn. It would appear that he is attempting to slow down using his front and side thrusters. His right rear thrusters. He is right. turning to use his main thrusters to decelerate. It would appear. All right, retros are firing. Holy shit, is that your cockpit on the front? That is the extra cockpit I put on for viewing purposes. I Thank Christ you're not in that, to... that would have been terrifying with those ice showers. Yes, it was, I was in that. Jesus Christ. I've reached the OGs. Right, afterburners are firing, we're calming down to 9876. That's my phone number, no it's not. Oh, I think it is. Oh, and there we go, zero, zero. And what I did was do a 90 degree, when I was still accelerating up out of the planet, just before I hit zero G, I did a 90 degree turn, flipped around, and I stopped perfectly just above the Lagrange point. That's great. Uh, Aaron, can you go ahead and check your hydrogen levels for me? Uh, copy that, checking hydrogen now, ground control. Um, 